Hey guys, how you doing? Lauren here with x -Grid Campers. We're at Overland Expo Pacific Northwest and we're going to show you the AOR Sierra. Uh, this is the first AOR Sierra ever brought into the United States. We import them from Australia and we're excited to have them here. Let's take a look. So on this side we have the full galley kitchen. Uh, it's a side kitchen, lots of storage around the unit. We're going to show you um, that throughout. This is one of the main storage boxes up front. We put a large stove up here, our extra gear, um, we have the slide out for the fridge. This comes standard with the Evacool 60 liter, but we have different options for that. If you have another brand that you like, it slides in. And then we also have a prep area or a secondary barbecue tray. A lot of people will use this for a small barbecue. You put it right there and then you can sew it away when you're not needing it. This is our main galley. Some models we have have the option now for a two burner Thetford stove right here. You can use that as a prep tray or you can do a two burner stove. All your kitchen area. Lots of storage here. The cabinetry opens up, really secure locks, and everything stows away. AOR is also running the Red Arc Red Vision system. So this is your 30 amp charger for short, short charging, solar, as well as DC to DC. It's all app driven, so you can uh, keep an eye on your water tank, your charging system, as well as control your lights all from the app, which is really nice. So if you're sitting inside at night, you're not sure, you know, if you have lights on outside, just open up the app, turn them off and on. Uh, you can take an eye, keep an eye on what your charging system's doing, uh, what your voltage is at and your battery levels. So let's take a look at the changing room and the bedroom. This is one of the popular things about this pro about this uh, this unit is the exterior changing room and transitional room. Um, the changing room drops down from the rear hatch. So when you're not using it, it's tucked up in here, it's all zippered up in here, it's out of the way. You can open it up, drop it down, stake it down, and then you can enter and have a privacy room for changing, taking off your shoes, and uh, just have a nice area to get into the into the cabin. People will also use this area for pets. Um, you can put you know, small shelves in here, put your gear in here, get it out from the weather, and that way when you uh, enter the bedroom, everything stays out here that's dirty. So inside a really comfortable cabin, this is about a full-size bed, a five-inch mattress, lots of room in here, lots of space up above for, uh, for head height, um, but it's, it feels real roomy because you have this large outside uh, access door uh, on the side as well as the front entry right there. You have two fans, your skylight fan, your 12 volt fan, as well as reading lights, lots of USB plugs and 12 volt power, your gear netting, and then access to closet storage right through here, which is also accessible from the outside. So you can put some extra clothes in there, extra gear that you need to get into it when you need it, and you're ready to go. And then underneath the bed is where our components are all at. So again, on this unit, uh, just like the ZR, we have 250 amp hour lithium batteries. Uh, so 300 amp hour total batteries. Uh, the Red Arc Red Vision, 2000 watt inverter, and our transfer switch and water filtration system. The full size spare sits right here. It's accessible from the rear as well. Some people will take out that spare and they'll put it up on top of the roof. And then you have additional storage underneath the bed. This hatch will close down, lock up, or you can use it just as a window. And so you're sitting inside, you have, your, you have your bug screen, you have your full shade as an option. Open the window, keep that secure, or close that down and open up the entire panel. Here's the access panel to the closet. So when you're loading in your gear at home, put all your clothes, all your bags in there, you can access from inside. Great place to stow all that. And then again, more storage underneath. Um, this is where we put our toolbox, our leveling blocks, grass mat, some of the other extra gear that we carry with us when we go camping. And then along the front we have the shower enclosure. That's on a swing out arm, so it sits outside here. Here, It doesn't get in the way of the storage. You can enter it on this side. We're using this today uh, for the portable toilet area. Some people will also put this in the back changing room, and that way at night if you just want to step out the back, you can get to it there. But otherwise you can put it inside the, the, the shower area. And then this is the Smart Tech. We use the Smart Tech uh, instant hot water system. We have our hot water or cold water output, our, our hot water input that goes back to the sink, and then it look, hooks right into the propane line that's right here. So, real easy system to set up, um, real simple to use, and just disconnect it when, you're not, when you don't need it. On the front, again, a large storage toolbox, really deep, goes all the way down. And then this is a neat feature. This is actually the, a firewood rack. So, it collapses up when we're not using it and we can open it up. If we're down, driving down a trail, happen to see some firewood along the way, open it up, set it down on top, throw some bungees around it or a gear net, secure it down, and then you're off and running again. 
This uses the, the dual 11 pound propane tanks. We have an optional bike rack on this unit. And then again, the Cruise Master DO35 hitch with your Anderson connection for your DC to DC, Anderson for your solar, and Anderson out for power source. This unit can also be set up with a rooftop tent. We can do a large tent again, uh, you know, whether it's a, a CVT or 230 or James Baroud or um, you know a Boon Detect, something large will sit up there. So if you want to carry a family of a larger family of four or five people, you can easily do that with this unit. Um, you have a high payload capacity. The the, the dry weight on this is about uh, 2,100 pounds, and the gross is about 4,000. So you have almost 2,000 pounds of uh, payload on here. So you can get a lot of gear on there if you'd like. AOR has been making trailers about 20 years and they use the same suspension and chassis for all of their units. It's a, the chassis is a uh, high tensile steel, super galvanized steel chassis. Um, it's galvanized from the inside out. So it's a different process than what a lot of manufacturers do when they dip the galvanized, when they do the, the galvanized dip uh, system. Suspension is a dual shock trailing arm suspension. Um, gives you lots of range, a lot of capability, and they'll actually match the bolt pattern. So if you have a certain vehicle, you want to have be running the same tires and wheels as on your vehicle, we can do that on the AOR Sierra and Sierra ZR. Well, thanks for joining us. Again, we're X-Grid Campers out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and we have these units actually in stock right now and more on the way. Uh, you can go to xgridcampers.com.